I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Francisco Pizarro. I take two fingers in the center, in the middle of my paper, and I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I draw a curved line down and leave it floating. Come back to the dot, I'm going to draw another curved line down and leave it floating. I come back to the left and I'm just going to draw a curve line out, over, up, connect, come back to this section on the left and let's just draw a curve, slightly curved line over, connect. Come on the left, we're just going to draw a slightly curved line down, leave it floating, come on the right, slightly curved line down, leave it floating. Come inside. We're going to draw a curved line, then a straight diagonal down, slightly curved line over. Come on the left hand side, let's just draw a curved line. Come down a little bit, curve line down, curve line over, connect on the left, curve line down, curve line over, connect on the right. Come back to the left, put a little curve line inside on the left, little curve line inside on the right. Come over here on the right, we're just going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. And on the left, we're just going to draw a little curve line out in, connect. Come right above on the right, wavy, wavy line down and leave it floating. Come on the right, I mean the left, sorry, wavy line down, connect, and leave that floating. And this is because he has a beard. So we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, up, and connect. Come on the inside space right here, and we're just going to draw a wavy line down, up, Wavy line down, up, connect, and right underneath in the center, a little curved line. Now, starting right here on the left, we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, and on the right, we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line down, curve line down, connect. Now, we're going to come inside each one and put a little curve line on the inside. Jump over. Little curve line on the inside. And then we go back and we draw another curve line, curve line, curve line. Keep going. Come on the right. Curve line, curve line, curve line curve line connect. Right about here we're just going to put little curve line, little curve line, curve line off the page, curve line, curve line, curve line, and right up here we're just going to draw a big curve line down off the page. Come on the right hand side we're going to draw another big curve line down off the page. Right about here let's put a dot. We're going to draw a straight diagonal down, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal in, in, straight line, straight line. Come on the left, we're going to do straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Curve line up, in, curve line down, up on the left, curve line out, in, curve line down, up, in, straight line, straight line off the page, straight line, straight line off the page. Let me make sure I think that's all. 
Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, there's not a lot of color on uh, Francisco. So the first thing we're going to do is add some face color if you have it. If you don't have multicultural crayons for the face, you can just leave it white or you can add a little brown just to give it a little bit of color. But you kind of have to keep it going a little bit down because it runs into his beard, which is brown, this space. So you kind of want to blend it into each other because he's got this big, he's rocking a big beard and a big stash and this space and this space is all brown. Now you can add a little bit of brown. What I did was I added a little bit of brown and brown right there on his eyes. Let's give his lip, this space, a little bit of color. And then he's got a lot of black. So the first thing I did was I put some black over the brown of his eyes and then this is all black. It looks to me like it's probably either a black fur or velvet hat. You know all of the tapestries and textiles that they used, especially when they were having a portrait made like this, they would be dressed in their finery. And then the whole entire space, this is all black, his robe. So loop-de-loop, -loop, best you can, in and out, I know it's a lot. Bring it over, bring it up. And as always, if you have your multicultural crayons, I always forget something. This is his hand, this space. So this should be multicultural. And this should all be really dark black. The hat, the robe, all of this should be really black. But you will do a way better job than me. Then, what's interesting, all of these loop-de-loops, curved lines, are all white lace collars. But this should be gold, but of course I don't have gold. But I do have yellow, so this is like an emblem on his robe. Okay? Then, if you have a big fat crayon, I just did a background of the color that I have. You could use any color, really. This is like a brown. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is Francisco Pizarro, the Spanish conquistador that led the exhibition for Spain to South America and was in charge of the conquest of the Incas in Peru. Very important man. Okay, bye-bye.